Plasmids. A plasmid is a small circular piece of DNA that is different than the chromosomal DNA which is all the genetic material found in an organism's chromosomes. It replicates independently from the chromosomal DNA. Plasmids are mainly found in bacteria but they can also be found in archaea and multicellular organisms. Plasmids usually carry at least one gene and many of the genes that plasmids carry are beneficial to their host organisms. Although they have separate genes from their hosts, they are not considered to be independent life. Anatomy of plasmid A plasmid contains a promoter region, a restriction digestion site, a gene of interest, an origin of replication, a selectable marker, and an antibiotic resistance gene. Functions of plasmids Plasmids may have different functions. They may contain genes that enhance the survival of an organism, either by killing other organisms or by defending the host cell by producing toxins. Some plasmids facilitate the process of replication in bacteria. Since plasmids are so small, they usually only contain a few genes with a specific function as opposed to a large amount of non-coding DNA. Multiple plasmids can coexist in the same cell, each with different functions. Non-integrated plasmids Episome Conjugation General types of plasmids Conjugative and non-conjugative. There are many ways to classify plasmids from general to specific. One way is by grouping them as either conjugative or non-conjugative. Bacteria reproduce by sexual conjugation, which is the transfer of genetic material from one bacterial cell to another, either through direct contact or a bridge between the two cells. Some plasmids contain genes called transfer genes that facilitate the beginning of conjugation. Non-conjugative plasmids cannot start the conjugation process and they can only be transferred through sexual conjugation with the help of conjugative plasmids. Incompatibility Another plasmid classification is by incompatibility group. In a bacterium, different plasmids can only co-occur if they are compatible with each other. An incompatible plasmid will be expelled from the bacterial cell. Plasmids are incompatible if they have the same reproduction strategy in the cell. This allows the plasmids to inhibit a certain territory within it without other plasmids interfering. Specific types of plasmids there are five main types of plasmids, fertility F plasmids, resistance plasmids, virulence plasmids, degradative plasmids, and cold plasmids. Fertility F plasmids. Fertility plasmids, also known as F plasmids, contain transfer genes that allow genes to be transferred from one bacteria to another through conjugation. These make up the broad category of conjugative plasmids. F plasmids are episomes which are plasmids that can be inserted into the chromosomal DNA. Bacteria that have the F plasmids are known as F positive and bacteria without it are F negative. When an F positive bacterium conjugates with an F negative bacterium, two F positive bacterium result. There can only be one F plasmid in each bacterium. Resistance plasmid. Resistance or R plasmids contains genes that help a bacterial cell defend against environmental factors such as poisons or antibiotics. Some resistance plasmids can transfer themselves through conjugation. When this happens, a strain of bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics. Recently, the type bacterium that causes the sexually transmitted infection gonorrhea has become so resistant to a class of antibiotic called quinolones that a new class of antibiotics called the cephalosporins 
has started to be recommended by the World Health Organization instead. The bacteria may even become resistant to these antibiotics within five years. According to NPR, overuse of antibiotics to treat other infections like urinary tract infections may lead to the prolification of drug-resistant strains. Virulence plasmids. When a virulence plasmid is inside a bacterium, it turns that bacterium into a pathogen, which is an agent of disease. Bacteria that cause disease can be easily spread and replicated among affected individuals. Bacterium Escheria coli has several virulence plasmids. E. coli is found naturally in the human gut and other animals, but certain strains of E. coli can cause severe diarrhea and vomiting. Salmonella enterica is another bacterium that contains virulence plasmids. Degradative plasmids. Degradative plasmids help the most bacterium to digest compounds that are not commonly found in nature, such as camphor, xylene, toluene, and salicylic acid. These plasmids contain genes for special enzymes that break down specific compounds. Degradative plasmids are conjugated. Cold plasmids. Cold plasmids contain genes that make bacteriocins, also known as colicins, which are proteins that kill other bacteria and thus defend the host bacterium. Bacteriocins are found in many types of bacteria, including E. coli, which gets them from the plasmid coal e worm. Applications of plasmid Genetic engineering to amplify or produce many copies of certain genes. Research of genetic engineering and gene therapy by gene transfer to bacterial cells or to cells of superior, superior organisms to improve resistance to diseases, growth rates, or any other required traits. In molecular cloning, plasmids are types of vectors that are useful in cloning short segments of DNA. Artificial and cost-effective bulk production of antibiotics administer gene therapy, which is a technique used to correct defective genes responsible for disease development. Replicate proteins such as the protein that codes for insulin in large amounts. Thank you.